You know what this is, right? Sure you do. Sure you do. You know what it is. You have seen it a million times. Okay, maybe not from this angle, but you've seen it a million times. Because everybody shows you the other angle. But only Elmer Lang, yes, would think to show you this angle. I'll give you a hint. It's the most famous sculpture in the world. Everybody on the planet's seen it. Come on, you know what it is. Wait a second now. Go in the bathroom and check and see if you have stupid written on your forehead, all right? I'll wait. No, all right, all right. You ready for the final unveiling? Here it is. Ah! The Sphinx, the Sphinx. Cause anybody, anybody can show you the front, but it takes Elmer Lang, the man who has a different slant on things, who sees it from a different side to give you the back ass side of the Sphinx. Hey, the back ass side of the Sphinx. Man, oh man, I bet you want to fall down and worship me right now, huh? The back ass side of the Sphinx. The back ass side of the Sphinx. Well, it's looking a lot better than it did years ago. Man, look at it. It's nearly buried in dirt. Check out the camels, man. Yo, can I get me a camel ride? I guess they don't hear me. Maybe because this is a picture. A hundred years old. Maybe that's why. Hey, you know, I've seen a couple people who look like the Sphinx. I kind of looked like the Sphinx when I was in high school, man. I had zip pits all over my face. Oh, oh man. To quote a girl in high school algebra class, you're disgusting. Okay, you know, you're right. When it comes down to it, you're right. But I had a pretty disgusting face back then. And then one time I was going to work, right? I went to pick up a paper, I'm barely awake. And I see this woman, man. It looked like they took some Play-Doh and shaped it into a nose and stuck it in the middle of her face. Cause whatever was sitting there in the middle of her face wasn't human, man. It was sad. Well, I'll give you a little insight into what makes a genius. Because you're probably asking yourself, how did Elmer come up with this idea of showing us the back ass side of the Sphinx? I have no idea. But, I was looking at this video, right? And I noticed that the back side of my head was better looking than the front. And that's sad. It's sad when your best angle is from the back. Because here's my front. Take a good look at it. It's not so good looking, right? But when you look at the back of my head, you go, Hey, he's got a nice looking back of his head. I bet the front's just as good. <laughs> Ooh, maybe not. Because the back of my head is better looking than the front. Yippee howdy doody, huh? I almost wish I had stupid written on my forehead. Then it'd take people's attention away from the rest of my face. What does that have to do with genius, you ask? Tragedy. Tragedy.